Good morning, friends. Welcome back. We are going to vlog today because today is a very special day. It's the night before school starts. And in this house, that typically means I vlog throughout the day and just kind of share the last day of summer break um, with you guys and just kind of how we're prepping for back to school and the kids' emotions and their excitement and all of that. So that's what's happening today. Uh, we woke up this morning, we slept in. The kids were actually in bed with me this morning and we woke up to a rainstorm. Um, it sounds like it finally stopped. But we've got a little bit of errands to run. Well, not a, we've got a and errand to run. I narrowed down my list because it was raining, but we do have to go to Walmart and pick up um, an order of groceries and there's some other stuff in it that I needed to send with Alice to school tomorrow, like her classroom requested Play-Doh, so I picked some up from Walmart and all that. Anyway, so we're doing that and then we're making banana bread today because I have a bunch of bananas that are going bad and I haven't had banana bread in a long time. I thought that would be a good... Um, snack to have on hand for either breakfast this week or after school snack. Sounds really strange to be saying that again. Uh, what else? I think that's like the big stuff. So we're just going to bring you along on our, I want to say lazy day because I'm wearing like comfy clothes, but it's not really going to be a lazy day. Like we've got some videos to edit. I'm about to get online right now and refill a prescription. Um, I have to do a mail order because it's an injection. So I got to do that. Just got little like odds and ends stuff. I had to turn my alarms back on today, which I'm excited for them to go back to school. It's like bittersweet. I I enjoy having them home for summer, but I also crave the structure and routine of the school year, and I think they do too. So by this point in summer break, like we're ready. Um, but I do not like mornings. I hate mornings. I'm not a morning person. The kids are not morning people, which makes it even more fun. So turning my alarm back on for 6:30 was. A slap in the face um so we wake up at 6 30 they start school at 7 45 but we leave the house i take them i do drop off and pick up um i drop them off at we leave the house at like 7 15 other than like this first week or two we leave a little bit early until like the car line gets straightened out because it's always a madhouse the first week or two but just wanted to say good morning. I'm gonna drink some coffee and wake up. It is uh, almost 11, so don't let that fool you. We enjoyed our last sleep in of summer. Um, I'm just drinking some vanilla coffee with coffee ma maple latte creamer. It's really good, it's tasty. I'm gonna drink it before Alice decides to steal it. We're at Walmart. The kids do not wanna leave the house. They're kind of cranky this morning, aren't we? Mmm, grumpy face. Uh, so we're just picking up groceries real quick, and then I think we're just headed home. I will save. I was going to do the library, because uh, I have books to drop off and a few to pick up, but I'll do that tomorrow when they're at school. Again, so weird to say that. I also want to run to Ollie's Bargain Discount Outlet. I will do that tomorrow while they're at school. Um, we get a lot of our cereal there and snacks and stuff like that, so I just want to see if they have anything fun since we're going to be... Ollie's. Ollie's, yep. Yeah. Remember where we got like all your books and stuff? I wait, wait, that one looked like the snake and the snake. Yeah, where we had to draw the lines on it. The grocery store? What are you talking about? Well, the notebook. Yes, that. And those notebooks are down there in your activity bag. There's the bag that I packed for Disney, and they used basically nothing out of it. I used all of it. You didn't. You've got that dry. Are you trying to hide from me? Get your feet off the seat, please. No, I'm trying to do something. My Walmart order was picked as ordered, except for one item. I ordered Alice a few cans of the Great Value brand Beefaroni, um, and they were out of that, so they subbed it for the Chef Boyardee. So she'll just get it's wanting you to look at Jackson, apparently. So she'll just get the name brand. Why is this doing that? So. That's what we're waiting on. They haven't come out yet. The kids are watching a movie and I'm listening to an audiobook. Currently listening to After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. There's a glare, but you get the point. And it's okay. She's the same author that did The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I didn't think I was going to like and I actually really enjoyed. This book is like completely different tone. Like I wouldn't even guess that it's the same author. Um, but it's basically about how marriages crumble and one couple who decides to come up with an unconventional idea of taking a year apart from each other to see if they can fall in love again. 
uh, but there's only one rule they can't contact each other during that year but everything else goes so it's kind of like a journey of self-discovery and redefining your values on commitment and love and loyalty and um, deciding what's worth fighting for so I'm about halfway through it's a little slow going um, but I it's doing a lot of like character and value um, dissection for lack of a better term so I feel like it's important for them to kind of roll it out the way that it is you got a what a dime so anyway that's what I'm listening to if you're keeping track with books what's doing coloring. coloring we're home so Jackson's teacher at open house had asked for she had like a list of items that they still needed for the classroom or that they would like that wasn't on the original like classroom list and band-aids was one of those items and so I went on Amazon and I got this box of a hundred for just over six bucks um, and I know I, you can get like boxes of band-aids at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but. I the, went on vacation tonight. These kids are so crazy today. Uh, we left our doors open the whole drive back. Driving back from the mailbox, I left their side doors open on the van and they thought it was, that was hilarious. That was on vacation. I'm gonna have the kids fill out these little first day of school questionnaires, but we're doing it today because the first day of school is always so hectic but I keep these in their keepsake like folder binder basket file cabinet files that's what I was trying to say and so we're gonna have Allie's gonna fill hers out right now Jackson ran upstairs to play games and I told him no he does not get games right now he needs to help huh mm -hmm. so Alice got some happy mail from I believe it's a company called I Scream, so the letter I and then not like ice cream like you eat but you can go ahead and open um, I already took a peek in here but I thought I would let her unbox on camera to show you all what she got yeah so here's the label hold on a second ice cream and they reached out and they had a variety of themes there was like llamas and sloths and pandas and we did a squishy it's a stress ball they call it but yeah squishy we did the sloths a tumbler with a twisty straw is it broken oh oh goodness there's glitter in there we'll do close-ups in just a second um the only thing missing which she's gonna be sad about is the sleep mask because it was supposed to come with a sleep mask that's a make your own sloth dough set it says and that is a sloth wind up walking 3d eraser <laughs> And then the big bag is like, it's called a sleepover bag or a weekender tote. It's a big bag that you can keep like if you go on a sleepover or when we travel. But did you see what else is in the box? Can I sleep? What is it? It's a big sleeping bag. I know, right? Pull. <laughs> Pure joy right there. Isn't that cool? I'm not going to unfold it quite yet, but there should be a picture. It's a big sloth sleeping bag with arms. It's a Sherpa. I don't know. It looks cute. And it was supposed to come with a sleep mask, like I said, which Alice loves sleep masks, and she actually sleeps with one every single night. And it also can be a pillow. Yep, it could be a pillow. <laughs> snooze, 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 snooze. What do we tell our friends at Ice Cream? Thank you. Are you excited? Did I pick good? They had llamas. <gasps> and pandas and other stuff too but i thought the sloth was really cute what do you think yeah so here's the make your own sloth it looks like play-doh of some sort and then this is hold on a second hold on Genius. scott please before you cut your hand uh 3d walking eraser this they call a stress ball or anti-stress ball a stress ball but it's basically a squishy we'll open like, that in a second stress you squish it yeah this is cute it's a sloth a straw cup and it's got a twisty straw inside and then this weekender bag is really nice it's um almost like a rain jacket material on the outside and then inside inside you've got like a po inner pocket there i just thought this was real cute nice quality super great quality I don't know. Hi, Sloth. <laughs> he looks like an abominable snowman. He looks like a Yeti. His feet! <laughs> yeah, he's got feet look like a Yeti. Jackson's just gonna take a little nap. Look, he has floppy feet. <laughs> uh, and arms. 
Is it soft? Mm -hmm. Can you put your arms in the arms? Can you? You can? Oh no, you can't. <laughs> Liar. You're a goofball. You look goofy down there. Yay! <laughs> Where did Jackson go? Peekaboo! I don't recommend sleeping with a blanket over your head, but that's where it like folds up into itself. Peekaboo! Can I? I think it's safe to say that she likes it. Huh? Is it nice and soft? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. That's not. Now you have two fluffy sleeping bags, but only one body. Careful, you're poking them in the eye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You can actually annoy your friends in this. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, when they're talking to you at night, you just say, okay, bye. You're a goofball. <laughs> Who knows anything about bamboo? Like, do I have to repot this eventually? We've had it now for a year and a half, and it's gotten really tall, and some of the leaves are starting to get heavy towards the top. Like, do I just let it keep growing? I don't even know. Um, Jackson just watered it for me, but it, it needs another cap full, baby. So it used to sit on the kitchen um, counter right there. Many of you have probably seen it. But I moved it over here because we finally moved all the toys from downstairs upstairs and I just felt like it needed some greenery over here. So just pour slowly and once it starts getting to the top, stop. Oh, stop. Good job. So that's our bamboo. Oh, you give him a stress ball because he's stressing out. That was very sweet of you. The kids are having some lunch. It's actually 2.13. Uh, I just made them a turkey and cheese sandwich with a go-go squeeze yogurt, but we got these Twist and Shout creme brulee cookies today in the grocery haul, and I, I was gonna let them try that. one. This looks like a leaf. It looks like a leaf. Here, try one of these cookies. They smell delicious. Are they mm. Oreos? They're like pretend Oreos. Mmm, it smells delicious. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Can you quit jumping? My battery's dying. Alice always does a booty shake when she's happy and makes that face. This face she's been making lately, and I'm like, please stop making that face. Is it good? Yes. And with lunch, I'm going to let the kids pick something out of the Variety Fun Box, which is an awesome snack box subscription that you can get. They have, like, standard snacks, and they have, like, a healthy snack or, like, a fit snack box. Um, so I'm going to let them each pick something, and I'll let you know what they pick. We love it because oh, it gives on. us, we've ooh. Before, yep. No. Yeah, we've had the cookies and cream ones. We're not picking a dessert though. You can pick out like a chip or a popcorn or something like that. Uh, we like it because it gives us a variety Sexy of cheese. fun snacks. Ha ha, hence the name. What, babe? Sexy it's cheddar cheese. You want Pringles? Yeah. Okay. And Alice is going to pick, those are pop chips, barbecue. But we like the variety fun. Those are cookies. You need chips and stuff. I gave you a cookie already for lunch. I keep getting distracted. Those are for school lunches. That's what I was trying to say is that I like this for school lunches because it gives us a variety. So that way I can switch things up each day I send them a school lunch. Um, you want those? What'd you pick? Cheese Ritz Bits. It's got a lot of our favorites and like standard ones, but then there's always something new and fun in there as well. And I picked out a bag of mini pretzels. We've got some roasted garlic hummus left in the fridge um, that needs to be eaten up, so I am going to have that as a snack while I edit a video. So Alice is doing the sloth project. Well, the create a sloth. And it's like a foam. It's weird. It's not clay and it's not Play-Doh. It's like foam. Um, but I think Will's going to have to help her because it is a little bit detailed. And so I kind of helped her measure out like you get a big chunk of like the tan and it needs to be split into a head body and four legs so if that leg's kind of big we might have to take a little bit off of that one and add it here like i said it's gonna be hard but daddy's gonna help her with that when he's done with his match okay sound good yeah yeah we're gonna be and we're doing what we're gonna be making some banana bread yep so we're washing up our hands mm -hmm. i've got most of the ingredients out i've got to get eggs out um, we're gonna do banana bread. I'll leave a link to the recipe that I'm using in the description box. I've never used it before. I don't know if it's good. I'll let you know at the end when I taste it. But I just googled best banana bread recipe and that's what came up. Do you need a stool or are you gonna be good? I'm gonna show you the pretty hands of 
That's the, what do you call it, the floss windmill? The windmill floss. Windmill floss, oh my bad. <laughs> Here's their new backpacks. I don't know if I've showed them on a video. I know I showed them on Facebook and stuff, but Alice has an Alice in Wonderland. I did show them, because we did a back to school haul. That's what it was. Alice has an Alice. Yeah, I've showed them. I'll try and link them again for those of you who didn't catch that video though. It doesn't have the mad paddle, but it has his hat. Yeah, and you have marshmallow. So the recipe I'm using is from Sally's Baking Addiction. I just remembered I only have one loaf pan. So we're gonna do, I was gonna do a double batch, which I still am. So I'm gonna do one loaf and then I'm gonna do some large muffins, which will also be good for the kids to split in the morning. So we've got stuff out. Now tell me, everyone is always impressed that you like cooking with mama. Do you enjoy it or do I make you do it? I enjoy it. You do? Mm -hmm. So one day when you're an old, old man and you move out when you're like 36, are you gonna live with me forever? Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, when you move out, you're gonna know how to cook and bake, right? Mm -hmm. That way you can cook and bake for your wife and your children if you choose to have them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would that be helpful? Or if my, or if my girlfriend just decides to. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Or when I get old and I can't cook anymore, you can come cook for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get to bacon. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> bacon. So we're doing the spoon and level method for our flour so you don't end up with too much flour, which is where you loosely spoon. In this case, we're using a ladle because we need four cups for a double recipe. You loosely spoon it in and then you're gonna level across the top with a knife. Peeling some nanners. Peeling some nanners. Rolling some leggies. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. All right, the muffins are done. Those came out before the bread, um, but those are cooling. They smell amazing. We did add chocolate chips. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, the bread's gonna finish, and I'm gonna start dinner, which you'll see this in our weekly dinner vlog, um, but I'm making a pasta linguine pork thing for food. And the kids are currently getting ready. They're taking their baths and stuff. Jack just took a shower. Alice is up doing her bath. Um, it is 4.37, the night before school starts. So we're kind of like winding down. It's gonna be so weird getting back into routine of like cooking dinner and eating by like 4.30 or five. We typically eat pretty early because Will gets home early from work and the kids go to bed early for school. So just getting back into that routine is going to be an adjustment but i'm gonna start dinner and i will touch back in with you this evening we usually read some back to school bedtime stories so i've got those picked out um so far each year we've lucked out and we had either um like the night before whatever grade they're going into so we've got like the night before first grade and then oh no i didn't get a second grade one okay Mm, we read some second grade ones last night. Oops, I thought this was a second grade book. Apparently I have two first grade books. Hopefully Jackson is not upset. We'll have to figure that out. I'm gonna go cook some dinner. We set this guy loose downstairs to do some cleaning. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this guy. He's not the smartest. He does not map the room. He just kind of goes on his own and does his own thing and sometimes he hits the spots. But for the price, I mean, it wasn't like stupid expensive. Got it on Amazon. Um, we're just kind of experimenting with him to see if we like him. There he goes, yay. He is pretty quiet and the actual vacuum function, like it's, it sucks well, like no pun intended, or pun intended, I guess. Um, it's very strong, it has great suction, but I don't like that it kind of misses areas and just kind of wanders. I'd prefer one that maps the room. So that's just me. The reason I, I had it upstairs originally to clean up there, that's actually where the docking, like the charge station is. Um, I don't want it to like nip my ankles. The reason we brought it down, I was cooking dinner and somehow the cap fell out of the bottom of my, it's like popping wheelies at the fridge. More of a plug at that point than a cap, cap. Yeah. yeah, the plug to the pepper, like you know how it little, like pepper shakers have a little plug in the bottom. Somehow that fell out while I was moving the pepper from one spot to another. And I didn't notice it until I was at point B, and so there was pepper from my sink all the way over to my counter. So we brought that down to vacuum the pepper 
The pepper is so fine that even with a broom, like Will got most of it up with the broom, but this thing is able to suck up like the all fine pepper yeah, dust. Yeah, and it was actually, um, it spilled a big pile of it was on the rug. There was a big dark spot right there and it did a good job at that. So see, he's kind of just, <laughs> it's like watching, I don't even know, just like bump, 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 so. The suction works well, it's a good vacuum. Yeah, that's what I said. It's just not. Very it's not smart. It's a dumb robot. <laughs> and my main concern would be that uh, when it's on auto, you're, you're able to schedule it so it'll run. Mm -hmm. But the issue would be that if you have like room with a lot of what they would call obstacles in the way, like beds and dressers and stuff, and it's down a hallway and it gets trapped in the room because it's not mapped, then when it, dying it's going to have a hard time finding its way back to the charger in time so like yeah it's going to be, like trip find over it in the hallway at night or something yeah. like that because it can't figure out how it to took like 15 minutes die. to make its way back to its dock station thing all right alice wants to show you so her and will did the sloth and it's adorable they did a very nice job get the nails to stick. yeah it's weird it's like like i said it's like a foam almost it's like a yeah. clay play-doh yeah, it's got like air. Okay, go eat your dinner. It's like That's what I just said. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Is it nice and moist? Mm -hmm. Soft? Sweet? Delicious? Banana. Cool beans. How's it going? Oh, you can't talk. Jackson's using this little cheap kids flosser we got. Um, we have a water pick for our bathroom and the kids liked it. So I picked up this cheap one on Amazon that they've been using. She needs to spit, buddy. Can you turn it off for a second? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. You're gonna drown yourself. Hey, we're still working on proper usage. Does it feel funny? Uh -huh. Do you like the way it feels? Does it get your teeth clean? Maybe. This What's happening? Wet yeah, probably. The great pudding debate of 2019. Pudding. It is pudding. So we're teaching them how to use this on their own. They do a pretty good job. So remember, we got to put it in, push the button. When you need to take it out, then you need to turn the button off, right? Gosh, your hair is getting long. You're pushing the wrong button. <laughs> it's going to take a while if that's all you're doing. you got to find the right angle for you. <laughs> we're still working on it. <laughs> Ow, my lip. What would you do? Like power washed it. I have it on the low setting. All right, you do that so we can get story time done, okay? Okay. And it's story time. Who's gonna massage my foot? Massage it. Massage it. Massage. We're reading the night before first grade, and on the first day of second grade. We're just gonna say this. This is the second grade book, even though it's not. Ready? Yeah. Twas the night before first grade, I kissed my dog Clover. School's starting tomorrow because summer is over. Into my backpack went markers and pens. I hung my new outfit. It matched my friend Jen's. It's a rhyming book. I spoke not a word but went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made lunch myself. Mama made your lunch today though. Yeah. Alice, you want to try reading a little bit? No. Yeah? Alright, try reading that page right there. I can't wait to see Jenny. I told my big brother I hope that you are our ducks are right next to each other. Oh, your desk is next to your friend Isla. Yeah. And then I look over and see this going on. He's snuggling sister. I can't see. On the first day of first grade. Do I sound like a teacher? It's my teacher voice. Yeah, right. On the first day. I'll show you the picture in a minute, okay? On the first day of first grade, I had fun right away. I've seen this one too. On the first day of Christmas, me too. What you look at? What's it say? Christmas story. Someone read. Morning and morning. No, try that again. Laughing and learning all day. 
On the second day of first grade, I had fun right away, helping in my classroom and laughing and learning all day. Wait, I know the song with this on the first day of Christmas. Yeah, I'm not singing it though. Oh gosh, it's just going to be, yeah, it's going to be a long one. On the third day of first grade, I had fun right away, choosing books to read, helping in my classroom, and laughing and learning all day. Start it off. On the 12th day of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> On the 12th day of first grade, I had, I had fun right away. <laughs> you guys don't know the melody. Counting so. with coin, playing a song, throwing a ball. Performing in a play, building types of play, leading friends in line. <laughs> Tell me the time! We got that part down. <laughs> Planting little seeds, choosing books to read, helping in my classroom. That line doesn't fit. You think they did? I think they would just shorten that down to class. First grade is so fun! <laughs> Second grade is so fun. Yeah, that's what I meant. Second grade is so fun. Merry Christmas. Yeah. So we somehow have a tradition of doing glow necklaces or bracelets or sticks the night before school starts. Um, so we're going to crack these. Alice chose pink. Here's yours. Then I think we. Oops, sorry. I know, but you took pink and then here's blue. So go ahead and crack those up. Daddy's getting lights for your... Um, Frozen light. Yeah, your frozen light thing in there. Do you need help? Hold on. I'm rich. You're rich? Yep, I'm rich. You know, you guys have your reading lamps in here now, too. You could read at night. Or are you ready for bed, bed? I'm ready for bed, bed. Ready for I'm bed, bed? Angel. You're an angel? angel from Daddy. Bendy. From Bendy? Yeah. yeah. So, it's nice and all, except that it's still bright outside. But this is what they're... Now your picture's nice and bright. Wait a minute! What? And one of them did. Yeah, yeah. Wait, just go on. Wait what? a minute. Now it's we brighter. <laughs> Don't do that, goofball. Okay. So, Alice Lillian, tomorrow is your first day of first grade. What are you most excited about? Getting to play with Spoo and Isla at recess. Yeah, your friends. And what do you think you're going to learn tomorrow? like a little bit of boring because it's the first day. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. Jackson, I'll get to you in a second, buddy. <laughs> Are you a little nervous? No. No? Good. Don't drop it behind the bed because we won't be able to get it. All right, sweet pea, I love you. I will see you bright and early in the morning, okay? Bright. Bright. Yeah, give me a kiss. Mwah. Sweet dreams. Ah. Sweet dreams. Night, Roger. Night, Cliff. <laughs> All right, Mr. Jack. So, right, you're gonna blind yourself. The thing was that, that I was trying to tell you guys is that mostly right when you walk in, you get to color a picture. Yeah, to keep you busy. Mm -hmm. And are you excited or nervous? Uh, mostly excited. Yeah. And you get to walk Sissy to her classroom yeah. first yeah. on the way to yours. And Alice's is 201. And yours is 207. So it's in the same hallway. All right, buddy. I love you. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Sweet dreams. Good night. night, Eeyore. Night, Mr. Monkey. You got your blankets and everything? Where are all your blankets? Do you have blankets down there? Oh, stuck in my pants. Oh, my goodness. Did you turn yours up brighter? Yes. Why'd you do that? You don't need them on at all, but I turned it on so that you can at least see a little bit. Love you. Love you, too. Uh-oh, Daddy fell asleep. I'm going to have to tuck him in. Golden turns. Jackson really knows how to ruin a moment, doesn't he? Oh, I'm being recording. <laughs> yeah. I was recording you telling the kids goodnight. I think I'm getting a cold. Oh, you better not be. He's already trying to play hooky from My school. Nose is so I'm sick. <laughs> okay, tell him goodnight. I'm Love you, buddy. Look at me. Have a good day at school, you two. Okay. Daddy won't be here in the morning, so this is him telling you guys. All right, baby girl, you want to close it out? Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, click that red button right down there. Bye. And hit the bell.